Coming up, the leader in wireless test and measurement, Spiring Communications, unveils the industry's first device-to-device -device testing for Volte and RCS. Please welcome Saul Einbinder, Vice President, Venture Development. You're watching YBL-TV. There are a lot of challenges in the wireless industry. The journey to Volte needs to be as smooth as possible. How does your Spirant Elevate test framework provide faster time to market and improved mobile user experience? Uh, thanks, Erica. The, you know, we, we're seeing that the Volte deployment is, is critical for operators and getting Volte launched quickly is, is critical to them as well. And you know, the main issue that they're facing is around having a better user experience than what we have on 3G. At the same time though, what we've been hearing from our customers, and we work with carriers and, and uh, everyone in the mobile device ecosystem, the device manufacturers and chip manufacturers, what we're hearing from them is a, a number of different problems, but one of, the, one of the most important ones is the way testing has evolved over the years has been with these systems that have more and more complexity crammed into them, and they're, they're you know, more and more complex and frankly expensive and big. And what that does is it means that testing is often, the, the most complete testing is often reserved for the last part of the test cycle with specialized QA teams. And earlier folks in the development cycle don't really have access to that same type of testing technology. That means you're finding things late in the cycle. And we've seen with Volte some problems that with other generations of cell technology would have and were found early in their lab. As Volte is starting field deployments, problems are slipping through because not enough testing is able to happen earlier in the test cycle. With more and more smartphones, M2M devices on the market, can you share with us some of the performance and interoperability aspects of Volte, RCS, and IR.92 video telephony? Sure. Um, so, in, for, for all previous generations of, of cell phone technology, if you were, say, developing a, a, a cell phone, a smartphone, um, when you've tested it to, you know, your, your box with all the technology in it and finally field tested it, if it worked with the network, it worked and you were done. You were good to go. But Volte changes that, whether it's IR92 voice or, or 94 video. Those protocols are different because they require my device to interact with your device when I want to call you. That's never been the case in the cell phone network before. It's always been device to network. So now, when my device has to talk to your device, we have to do a protocol negotiation to set up those those uh, uh, those codecs properly and the get the addresses right and get the ports right. And if we don't do that, the call fails. So here we have, you know, carriers huge expense to get LTE Volte out into the market, and it needs to be better all the time, right? So what we're finding is that some of these issues are popping out where something worked really great in the lab, but you know my release with maybe the next generation release has an interoperability problem. Or my phone with your phone from a different manufacturer, a different model, or across carriers. So Volte brings this huge explosion of interoperability cases, and we're seeing this now starting to happen uh, in the field, problems that in traditional cycles we would have caught earlier. How is the Spire and Elevate framework breaking the test box model by separating the hardware from the software? So when we looked at these problems of, of how testing, was, testing is very monolithic, uh, expensive, slow, and how Volte required this device-to-device -device model, we said, you know, we need to change the way testing is done. And so what Spirant Elevate Test Framework does is it does separate hardware from software, and it treats hardware much more like you know, just like the last mile, it's like the hardware adapter. It doesn't have to be this huge box with everything crammed into it. You can have devices for specific technologies um, and, and much smaller devices. And then the software layer is shared across all of the hardware. So if you're doing testing between two phones, instead of having a box with everything in it and your IMS core and setting up another one to do device size, you share the IMS core. You share uh, other aspects that you're emulating. Um, and so by sharing software and having smaller hardware, what you're able to do is provide device-to-device -device testing and provide a plus platform that's much more cost-effective, literally much smaller, and therefore you can apply it much earlier in the development cycle. And when you test earlier in the development cycle, you find the problems that were there, you find them earlier. <laughs>